Let's get another question here, another one that, a current event that someone wants to know your thoughts about. This was sent to cornydrivethru at gmail.com from Jason in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Wilkes-Barre. Wilkes-Barre. Sounds to get, better. Wanted to get your thoughts on Trevor Murdoch winning the NWA title this past weekend. <laughs> well, you know, Trevor Murdoch is so tough, he can strap up. Stop it. Never stop mind. it. Stop it. <laughs> You know, I didn't even put two and two together when I asked you that question. <laughs> Behave yourself, young man. Egan, I'll tell you what, we were just talking about poor Sylvester, and then you transitioned to that. <laughs> That's a dead dog dedication. <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> oh, this is so unfortunate in every way. <laughs> See, we really ought to think about this program before we do it. Um, no, I'm so happy because... Trevor Murdoch is another one of those guys that if it, the territories were still here, he would have had steady employment in the wrestling business for the last 20 years. He's big and he, he has a unique look and he can work and he gets the business and he can talk in a way that you think he's a real person that uh, he's, he's who he's purported to be a uh, great guy all around, you know, on camera and off. And has worked his ass off and thought that he was done pretty much in wrestling a couple of years ago and then got this, this resurgence. And now, you know, and Nick Aldis, credit to him, they knew that a St. Louis, uh, back at wrestling at the chase, a big event, uh, they wanted to do something to, to not only get some, some news, but also, just to reward guys, traditional wrestlers, just all the way around. I thought it was a great deal, and I'm I'm happy for him that he that he won that and that he got that and and got a chance to be recognized for all the work that he's put in. 